Hello and welcome to your Ciroc X video. Now Ciroc X, for those of you who don't know, is a category at the Ciroc Championships where there are no surprises. You know eight prescribed moves that you're allowed to dance and you can rehearse them with your partner before the competition. Also, you'll be made aware of the three music accompaniment tracks that will be played at the Champs so you know exactly what it is you're going to be dancing to on the day. So, in this video, you'll be able to see all eight moves taught through so you can practice them at home ready for the competition. Good luck and we'll see you on the dance floor. Okay, so we're going to start off by teaching you section A, which is the first four moves in your Ciroc X repertoire. We start man's left hand to lady's right, push away and step back, men signalling for the man spin. This is called the man spin cheat. So men, as you step in and wrap your right hand over the top, you don't let go with your left hand. Instead, men, you unwrap in the opposite direction, clockwise, round to face the ladies as you both step back on the opposite side. Repeat if you wish, crossing the arm over the top, unwrapping and then opening out on the opposite side. Now this time we're going in for a man spin again, but we will complete it, men, by letting go with your left hand. So, wrap in, the right hand goes over the left, this time let go with the left hand. We're going to throw a turnout on the end. So men, as you continue anti-clockwise to face the ladies, you want to make contact with your right forearm underneath the lady's right forearm in front of you. As soon as you make that connection, men, raise the hand straight up, ladies turning clockwise, as you both step back, man's right to lady's right. Move number two is the catapult hook mambo. Step in, men, pull down and raise with your right hand to turn the ladies into your right hand side, as you would the classic catapult. Continue changing places, men, lower the hand, but this time, don't offer your left hand behind your back. At this point, men, quarter turn to the left to face the front as you pull with your right hand. Ladies, that will lead you to take a step forwards. At the same time though, men, take your left arm and hook it underneath the lady's arm on your left hand side. Once you've got that connection, men, you can let go with your right hand behind your back. And as the lady continues past you, men, you want to lift your left hand up on top of the lady's shoulder. Ladies, you'll find that your right hand moves onto the man's left shoulder at this point. Ready for three mambo steps. Men, push with the left as we mambo for one. Pull as you mambo for two. Push as you mambo for three. Much like the beginner's co mambo, we stop in the middle and compress in towards our partner. Push away and both step back. Move number three is called the Tai Chi. And because it starts like a closed neck break, when you step back after move number two, make sure you signal with your right hand men. Both step in, right side to right side. Men, push down with your left hand. As ladies, you twist on the spot and take your left arm up to your right shoulder, accepting the man's offered right hand. So at this point, ladies, both arms are crossed in front of you. Men, nudge with the right arm as you twist the ladies forwards and you step in to face her. Now for a turnout, men, let go with your left hand. Pull forwards and raise your right hand as ladies, you turn one and a half times in a clockwise direction round to face the man. Now this is the Tai Chi section of the move. Men, as you lower your right hand, you want to swoop your straight left arm underneath the right arm and then bend the elbow offering the palm towards the lady. Ladies, when you see the palm, you take hold with your right hand, and once the ladies have accepted men, you can release your right hand, which is in the crease of your left elbow. Now, holding on with the left hand, we're gonna do a figure of eight. Men, you turn yourself clockwise, that's to the right, first of all, all the way around to face the lady, and when you're facing men, you're in a palm-to-palm -palm handhold, ready to push and raise. Ladies, you turn yourselves in a clockwise direction as we lower and both step back. Move number four is the lock, lean and seduce. With a travelling return, men, collect your right hand in the small of the lady's back. And as you continue to change places, men, bring your left hand into a ballroom grip in to your left shoulder as you scoop your right hand in in the small of the lady's back. That's the lock part of the move. For the lean, make sure you're hip to hip with your partner. Men, lunge out to the left and ladies, relax your hips onto the guy. For the seduced part of the move, men, from the lean position, you can shift your right shoulder forwards, supporting the lady's back into a dip in front of you, ready to stand straight back up into the lock position. We finish this move just like a slingshot, so twist, 
the ladies out, slingshot down the left hand side and both step back, man's left to ladies right. Now we're going to teach you section B of the Ciroc X moves, the final four, to complete your repertoire of eight. So we finished off man's left hand to ladies right, having stepped back away from our partner. The next move is called the octopus limbo. So it starts like a beginner's octopus. We wrap the ladies as we change places and step back. Wrap the men as you change places and step back. Now it's the third and final change of places that now goes into our limbo movement. So, pull and raise the left hand, ladies wrap in front of the guys, but before the ladies step back men, you're going to drop the ladies hand onto your right forearm. Ladies, hold on with your fingers as you step back and stretch away from your partner. Now from here, nice and simple men, pull and raise the right arm. Ladies walk underneath the tunnel and turn in a clockwise direction round to face the man as you both step back, right to right. Some simple but very effective footwork now. This is the shoulder sway about face. As you step in, men, pull the right hand towards your shoulder and out to the right, ladies wrapping into the man's right hand side. Men pull back with the right hand as you both twist out. Men, important that you collect the lady's offered hand at this point. Now for the about face footwork, men, nudge with your right arm as we both walk forwards for one. Raise the left hand to the shoulder as we twist the body for two. And pull down with the right hand as we turn to face the opposite direction, twisting out right foot behind left. Now we're going to do that movement in reverse. Men, raise the right hand up to the lady's shoulder for the first step. Pull down with the left hand as we step back with the left for the second step. And then a final pull back and twist out right foot behind left for the third step. Up to speed, that step looks like this. Seven, eight. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Once you've completed the footwork, we're going to exit from the move, men. You can let go with your left hand. Bend your right arm to nudge the ladies forwards. Push forwards and down to the ground as we both step back, man's right to ladies right. Move number seven is called the hatch flick reverse spin. Men, signal with your left arm behind your back in a half Nelson position so the ladies can see your fingers. As you step in, men, fold the right arm across your tummy, ladies you can accept the man's offered hand. Men, by extending your right arm out to the right, ladies will twist out right foot behind left and we're now going to change places. So men, as you pull your right hand to your right hip, extend your left hand out to the left at waist level. Men step to the back, ladies step towards the front. Now from here, we're going to finish with what's called a reverse spin. So, slightly different to the catapult spin you might be used to. Men, let go with the right hand, pull forwards with the left hand, and ladies, take a step in front of the guys. Men, as you pull back with the left hand, very quickly, you want to transfer your right hand over the lady's wrist and let go with the left hand as you both open out to face the front. So at this point, men, the right hand is draped over the top of the lady's left wrist and ladies, your left arm is nice and firm. On the next beat, men, you're going to spin the ladies. So bringing your feet to face the girls, Throw your right hand out to the right at waist level, ladies spinning in an anti-clockwise direction, catching man's left hand to ladies right. So, we spin, catch left, and both step back. Our eighth and final move is called the New Yorkers. Now this is a perfect opportunity to add in loads of style and loads of character into the competition. Uh, the basic footwork, first of all, men, shoot the left hand at waist level towards the right, keeping it nice and low. At the same time, men, you step through with the left foot, and ladies, you step through with the right foot. So we've both stepped with the foot closest to the centre. From here, men, pull back with the left hand at waist level, offer your right hand, and ladies take hold as we step out to face, and we do the same thing in the opposite direction. So men, let go with the left. Shoot through with the right, and we both step with the inside foot, men on the right, ladies on the left. Pull back with the right hand and place to face your partner. We're going to repeat that one more time. So men, the left hand shoots through as we step on the inside foot and out to face, and we're going to finish with a step turn. So this time, men, as you take the right hand through and step on the right foot, ladies step on the left foot, you're going to throw the hand forward. Both keeping your feet where they are, men, you turn anti-clockwise to the left, 
ladies, you turn clockwise to the right and find a man's left to ladies' right hand hold as you catch. Step out and offer the hand as you turn to face your partner and finish with a step back. And after move eight, you're in the correct hand hold to start the whole routine again.